Hey, what's up guys? It's Reflex. I just got back from vacation and this was in the mail. Super excited about this. Um, but before that, just telling you about some upcoming videos. I uh, believe the Muji Aluminum video should be coming out next week. Uh, there's still quite a few fountain pen reviews coming out, but I did... I did recently get two new pens, so they will be added to the list of fountain pen reviews. I got a Parker Flighter 15. Very nice, very snazzy. And then I also got a Schaefer No Nonsense with some GE branding on it, celebrating 50 years of making quality refrigerators. Uh, 1927 to 1977, so that makes me think this pen is from 1977. Um, this one is also pretty great. And it is also bigger than my other vintage Schaefer, which is also in an upcoming video, the Schaefer uh, flat top. See, it's a, it's a little, little bit bigger. So very nice. Um, this one has a steel nib, though. I believe it's a medium. Yeah, a medium steel nib. My other Schaefer has the 325 gold nib. So, uh, enough about the pins. Let's get into the Apollo 11 50th Anniversary First Moon Landing Limited Edition Colorverse Ink Set. Now, I did order this from Goulet because I had remembered it being out of stock on jet pens, but when I checked back later, it was in stock, so I'm not too sure if they got some more or found some in the warehouse. I don't know, um, but I did get it on Goulet. It's been on my wish list on there for a while now. Um, it was a hundred dollars. It comes with five inks, I believe. We will get into it once we open it. So let's go ahead and do that. Uh, but before that, just real quick, uh, what you get when you order with Goulet. You always get a Tootsie Pop. Actually, I still have the one from the swipe video I did a while ago. Well, I say a while ago, I recorded it like last week. <laughs> like there's no sense of time in these videos. Um, different sticker than the ones I've been getting lately, so I guess it changes up. Looks like a turtle drawing from um, Mr. Goulet himself's daughter. Very cute. And you always get this little packing card that says who packed your package. So very nice. Now, let's open this bad boy. So first, let's take a look around the box. At the top, you have Apollo 11, 50th anniversary, first moon landing, limited edition. Um, I guess this would be the front. It kind of shows, if you look around the whole box, it shows the whole trip they took. So I guess it starts here on Earth and goes around. It shows the Saturn V breaking apart. And then they orbit around the moon. The lunar landing module goes, lands on the moon, and then it comes back up with the second uh, set of, the second engine, and then orbits around a little bit more, comes out of orbit, and then they go back home to Earth. Very nice. Um, the bottom, nothing. Okay. So I did already break the tape. I looked at the cards on top, I'll be honest. I'm very excited about this. Uh, I try I try not to damage the box too much, but uh, it was already, one of the corners is already damaged. Yeah, that's very disappointing, but not the end of the world, I suppose. So you open it up, you see Apollo 11, or, I mean, not Apollo 11, I mean, it is Apollo 11, I guess, but you see Saturn V with the launch escape tower actual Apollo 11 spacecraft, third stage, second stage, first stage, and then Apollo 11 and third stage, and then let me get out of widescreen, there we go, um, and then you have the command service module, Columbia, and the lunar module, Eagle, and then on here you have, I guess it shows you where 
uh, eagle landed. TV camera, double center, foot trail. So it shows Tranquility Base, West Crater. Before this decade is out of landing a man on the moon and returning him safely to the Earth. JFK. I actually have a book about the first landing on the moon, but I haven't read it yet. What's it called? It's on my bookshelf somewhere. American Moonshot? Yeah, so I want to read that eventually as well. So you have a picture that looks like Eagle, but I can't tell. Um, caution. Do not use this for purposes other than writing. Ink dries quickly. Always close cap after use. Store out of reach of children. Do not eat. In case of eye contact or ingestion, immediately clean with water and seek a doctor. Removing ink from textile is difficult. Take caution when in use. Ink may drip if rubber packing is loose. In such case, properly place the rubber packing and close the cap. Alright, so there's a few cards on top. We'll get to the first one, which again says Apollo 11, 50th anniversary, first moon landing. I would love if my camera would just focus. So here is what we get. We get the Apollo 11 ink, which is in the bigger bottle. I love that it tells you, oh cool, it tells me the pH, surface tension, all the color profiles, awesome. So we have Apollo 11 in the first and only big bottle. We have Tranquility Base, Eagle, One Small Step, and Columbia. Um, I think personally, I'm the most excited about Columbia and One Small Step, if I'm honest. Um, but I do love all of them. And I, anyone who knows me can tell you I despise green. But Tranquility Base is looking like a nice green. I gotta be honest with you. Next card is a little drawing. The first moon landing. Apollo 11, 50th anniversary, first moon landing. Before this decade is out of landing a man on the moon and returning him safely to the Earth. Houston, tranquility base here. The eagle has landed. That's one step, one small step for man, one giant leap for mankind. Very neat. And because this is a limited edition, there are only 1,969 of these. Uh, to, you know, 1969 is when we landed on the moon. So I got number 1735. Pretty late in the game, but that's all right. Very nice. And then we have a little goodie pack here. We'll open this in one second. I actually don't know what's in here. Oh, there's stickers. Oh, oh that's dangerous. I love stickers. And this is what you see once you take those cards out. So we'll look at that in a second. I know we all want to look at it right now, but be patient. So let's open this little goodie pack. Looks like there's a napkin that I will not be using. All right, so it looks like, yep, there's a, oh, it's just a color verse napkin. I mean, it does have the stars, it's kind of neat. Is that just their normal logo? I don't actually know. I don't remember what their normal logo looks like. We have a like kind of cardboard plasticky feeling pin stand. <laughs> it has Darth Vader, but it looks like a spaceship. That's cool. So neat little pin stand, I suppose. Probably won't use that. You'll see why later. Um, it looks like this is a bookmark. Uh, I don't want to ruin it. Okay, yeah. Cute little bookmark. Two colors, two sides. Very nice. And then a few little stickers. Alrighty, let's get into the good stuff. There are some drawings. So we have Neil Armstrong and Buzz Aldrin, um, who were the only two to actually walk on the moon because Michael Collins stayed in the command module uh, while they were doing that. So this is... Here we have Eagle. We have Columbia. I will say the 
stickers on the front are different. Um, most colors, I think, most colors inks are just like a normal paper flat sticker, but this is actually like rounded. Yeah, you can kind of see. Fancy. Okay, and then we have one small step. Uh, looking at it, it looks like it's going to be gray with maybe a purplish hue, perhaps. And then, the reason I won't use that, like, cardboard pen stand is because we have this. You can get it out. Alrighty, so we have this. Um, whoa, I didn't actually know it has, like, the boot print. Colors. Um, I'm guessing it's brass. I'll have to look that up. It'll be, I'll tell you right down here, but I'm guessing it's brass. And you know, the like really cool, awesome picture of, uh, was it Buzz Aldrin or Neil Armstrong? I can't remember who took the picture of their boot, but he thought it was cool when he looked down and saw his boots. That's why he took a few pictures of that. All right. And then looking down after those three inks, we have the footsteps and two more bottles of ink. We have Tranquility Base, another 15 milliliters, and then the big boy, Apollo 11. 65 milliliters of Apollo 11. So you can really see the size comparison here. And that looks like it's about it. There is some padding. Oh, that's a good bit of padding at the very bottom to protect the bottles of ink. Um, that looks like it's it. I am actually getting uh, one of those coloring things for taking swatches of ink. Um, it should be here maybe today or tomorrow. So I'm gonna go ahead and wait until then and we can do swatches of all the ink um, I know this is limited edition, but I do fully intend to use all of this ink. I'm not just going to let it sit around for a show. Um, I intend to use all of this. Uh, I will keep the box though, just for safekeeping, limited edition, this, whatever. Um, I probably won't use any of this stuff, the napkin and whatever. Um, they'll probably just go back in the plastic bag and then go back in the box. But other than that, I intend to use all of this. So I'll see you guys tomorrow or whenever I get the, uh, the paper to swatch with and we will take a look at all these inks on paper. Hey guys, so I have the ink swatches now. Um, I got this yesterday and I did the ink swatches while I was working, which is why I didn't record them while actually making the ink swatches, which I regret, but I didn't want to record while working. So this is what we have. Um, I have, I swatched all of the bottles of ink I have. So, you know, if people want me to review inks, let me know and I will review the inks. But we are here for uh, the Apollo 11 limited edition inks. So, the first one is Colorverse Eagle. I'll just say Eagle. Um, it is a nice light blue. Looking at my phone, um, I'm not seeing a lot of green. There's a tiny, tiny, tiny hint of green in here. So it's more of a turquoise. Um, on my phone, it's looking like sky blue. I'm not sure what it's going to look like uh, after editing, but it is more of a turquoise, I'd say, a light turquoise. Um, and here's some information. Yeah, I guess I was thinking kind of cyan. Um, it's on the wetter side. So then we have Columbia. Let me actually turn on my light. Maybe that'll help. Let me go back to Eagle so you can see that under some light. All right, and then Columbia, super weird color. Like, I don't even know how to describe this color. It's kind of pink kind of red, kind of orange. It's super weird. Like in the really lighter areas, it looks like a hot pink. 
but in the darker areas it's like pinkish orangish reddish it's super weird color i don't even know what color it is i can't tell if it's pink or red or brown kind of in a weird way super weird um it is also on the wetter side then we have one small step now unfortunately i haven't inked any pens with this ink um, in the future, I will make an updated video after I've written with all of these. Now, it's just a simple gray. None of these have any crazy shading or anything. That's one thing to keep in mind. Um, it was also on the wetter side. Then we have Tranquility Base, which is a very toned down light green. It's nothing crazy. It's almost kind of pastel, almost, but it's very simple green. I actually kind of like it, and I hate green. Um, it was the driest out of all of them, but still totally respectable. Now, the wettest was Apollo 11. It's a nice dark blue. I mean, look at how there's, like, no shading. That's just perfect blue across the whole thing. And that one was the wettest. I also couldn't spell juiciest, but it's the juiciest in the set. And it's like a dark blue, maybe navy. Very nice. So that is it for the Apollo 11 ink set. If you guys have any questions, don't hesitate to let me know in the comments and I will answer them as soon as possible. Thanks for watching!